the proposed law would make it illegal for Irish citizens to buy goods and services from Israeli citizens in what they define as the occupied territories. That would make it illegal to buy an ice cream, a postcard, or a bottle of water here in the old city of Jerusalem. We bought ice cream and we bought water and we bought it here in the old city next to Jaffa Gate. And if this bill passes, then what we just did would be illegal. Irish citizens Karen and Norman Ivers, along with their twins, Natalie and Nathaniel, visit Israel often. Well, it's an infringement of uh, our freedoms. I just hope that it won't hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. And that it won't hurt Ireland. The bill is called the Control of Economic Activity in Occupied Territories. If it becomes law, an Irish citizen convicted for violating it could be fined more than a quarter of a million dollars and spend up to five years in jail. The proposed Irish law is the most extreme anti-Israel legislation proposed anywhere outside of uh, the Arab League. If you come to the holy city and you buy some holy water, uh, if you buy some J Jewish prayer shawl, religious books, bring them back to Ireland, bang, jail. International law expert Professor Eugene Kantorovich calls the bill radical. What's shocking about this law is it's clearly discriminatory in nature. So they say, you know, we consider this occupied territory, we have a problem with occupied territories. But other than the fact that it's actually not occupied territory, the law does not apply to any other people or group other than Jews here in their biblical homeland. One Israeli legal organization produced this YouTube video to raise awareness. We met the, the, the nice couple, Karen and Norman, and uh, we decided to help them and to do something about this and make the world kind of understand better of how ridiculous this whole situation is yeah. potentially. We love Israel. We're Christian Zionists. We support the Jewish people and the Palestinian people. And we think this bill is unfair and we wanted our voices to be heard. One of the only reasons the law has not been passed yet is because the Irish government is properly worried about the consequences it's going to have for Irish companies doing business in America and many of the large American companies like Apple that do business in Ireland. Because America has strict laws against boycotting Israel. In the meantime, the Ivers hope their next visit to Jerusalem won't land them in jail. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.